Hello and welcome to everybody. In the last session, we discussed the syllabus for Special Paper Three that has been prescribed by Savitribai Phule Pune University, and the title of the paper is Appreciating Novel. I already mentioned in my last session that if a novel is to be understood, if novel is to be uh, studied. and if somebody wants to uh, do a critical appreciation of a novel one has to understand one has to acknowledge the elements of the novel so today in this brief session i am going to talk on some elements of the novel and here our focus is going to be on how these elements enable us to understand the corona of coronal of the novel so the first is theme the definition of theme is one of the first question everybody of us asks if we watch a movie if we read a novel or if we also uh, hear about something that what it is about if you watch a movie then our focus is on its theme if you read a novel same is the case see someone has written a story and we say what it's about or what's the point what's the central idea of the novel short answers may range from love to betrayal or from coming of age or to the hisiness of memory the central idea topic or point of a story essay narrative or its theme or the theme can be defined as the main idea or an underlying meaning of a literary work which may be stated directly or indirectly therefore it is very much important to understand the theme of a any literary work especially novel as our focus today here is on novel so there are also some major themes and minor themes there could be one major theme and so many minor themes so major and minor themes are two types of the themes that appear in any literary work a major theme is an idea that a writer repeats in his literary work making it the most significant idea in the work a minor theme whereas refers to an idea that appears in a work briefly giving way to another minor theme examples of theme in jane austen's pride and prejudice so this is a novel uh, one of the uh, best novels that has been very much acclaimed and we are considering here its example uh, as far as the theme of the novel is concerned that matrimony love friendship and affection so these are the themes of the novel matrimony related to the marriage then love friendship and affection it means love again the whole narrative means the whole novel revolves around the major theme of matrimony its ma- its minor theme are love friendship and affection so as i already mentioned that the theme of the, there are two types of theme one is major theme and the other is minor theme the major theme of the novel pride and prejudice is marriage and all of the minor themes related to the major themes are love affection and friendship etc therefore we one has to understand uh, theme one has to recognize one has to identify it so uh, there are many uh, such questions in the mind of uh, readers or in the mind of uh, uh, new readers i should say as uh, is there uh, any difference between subject and theme and my uh, simple answer to this question would be yes so what could be a difference between a theme and a subject uh, let's see it is important not to confuse a theme of a literary work with its a subject subject is a topic that acts as a foundation of for a literary work again i will uh, repeat this thing subject is a topic that acts as a foundation of a literary work by theme is an opinion expressed on the subject if the novel is about something then the theme is 
a theme is the idea or a central idea i should say which is which becomes an opinion which becomes a comment or which becomes a explanation about the foundation or about their subject see here for example a writer may choose a subject of war for his story again see writer may ch writer chooses a war uh, as a subject for his story and the theme may be his personal opinion that war is a curse for humanity curse in the sense that something that is very bad or something uh, i should say ill omen and war is the subject of a story and what is his about when a writer writes a story related to war then he or she expresses uh, his or her own opinion about the war and if the writer is negative of the war definitely you you uh, address the subject as a curse to the humanity usually it is up to the readers to explore the theme of a literary work by analyzing characters plot and other literary devices so therefore it is very important to understand the theme of any literary work see how a presentation of theme is uh, done a writer presents themes in a literary work through several means a writer may express a theme through the feelings of his main character about the subject he has chosen to write about similarly themes are presented through thoughts and conversations of different characters moreover the experiences of the main character in the course of a literary work give us an idea about its theme finally the actions and events take place in a narrative are consequential in determining its theme examples of theme in literature so we are going to see some examples so that uh, you all students would be able to understand what this literary device is and how to understand it see the first example is of love and friendship as a theme see love and friendship as i already discussed are frequently occurring themes in literature they generate emotional twists and turns in a narrative and can lead to a variety of endings happy happy ending there could be happy ending sad ending or bitter sweet endings so in between i would like to give a uh, example uh, about the uh, tragic end of a movie or tragic end of a uh, piece of literature you all students might have seen uh, might have watched a movie called sairat so at the end of this sairat Uh, we see that uh, both the protagonist uh, both the hero and heroine are killed they are murdered and therefore um, this becomes a sudden shock to all uh, to all audience that how could how can it happen if everything goes well then how uh, can it happen remains the question in the mind of all audience and therefore that end becomes very tragic so that is what the theme the following are famous literary works with love and friendship themes so uh, you might be well versed uh, you might not be well versed uh, with uh, many literary pieces but uh, you might have heard names uh, like uh, william shakespeare and uh, some other uh, such uh, writers uh, in the uh, eras of english history uh, see romeo and juliet by william shakespeare in which love is the major theme then uh, there is another example is wuthering heights by emily bronte then anna karenina by leo tolstoy then sense and sensibility by jonos jane austen and pride and prejudice again i would like to discuss it has been written by jane austen so uh, these are the examples of a love and friendship theme so as i already told you that if a writer writes uh, his novel on war then what could be its theme so the see uh, here in this uh, session we will see theme of war see the theme of war has been explored in literature since ancient times about uh, let's see uh, we all know uh, that the great epic the great indian epic the mahabharata and there is a war between the pandavas and the kauravas so uh, the theme is that uh, here draupadi's uh, clothes are taken off and therefore uh, pandavas are almost intent on taking revenge of kauravas and battle takes place and in that battle at the end pandavas uh, are declared to be 
vectors so here uh, again we will see some examples like see uh, literary works utilizing this thing may either glorify or criticize the idea of war most recent literary works portray war as a curse or uh, war as a uh, or as a kind of ill ill omen for humanity due to the suffering it inflicts because um, uh, writers who experienced first world war and writers who also experienced second world war and their experiences are not good because they went through different phases and uh, a time of uncertainty therefore they wrote about uh, the time and the time was the worst time for them and even for the entire society that was affected by uh, the uh, war the effects of war see uh, in ancient time uh, that homer wrote a an epic that iliad he also wrote another epic called odyssey then leo tolstoy a russian novelist he wrote a novel called war and peace so this is very uh, war is a different word whereas peace is a different word but he entitled his novel as war and peace and again here uh, margaret mitchell wrote gone with the wind then ernest hemingway a farewell to arms arms means weapons a farewell something that we bid farewell farewell to arms means um, that war is a curse for humanity then bernard shaw has written a play called arms and the man and again here walter macdonald uh, written a band of brothers so these are the uh, themes that uh, we can understand mm, different literary uh, pieces have so because themes and compass main ideas in a narrative they may have uh, many similar elements which do similar things for a narrative so what i said that these themes in compass main ideas in a narrative and they have many similar elements which do similar things for a narrative see uh, from the few examples uh, i would like to uh, clear this concept so moral see and the moral of the story is when we read an explanation of a story while reading we come across a line stating and a moral of the story is dash 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 and many fables and tales go morals are a necessary element they are the main message or lesson to be learned from reading a cautionary story then again although themes and morals are both major ideas in a story they are different in that themes do not necessarily serve to teach a lesson whereas morals always do a theme is simply an idea again i would like to explain that a theme is simply an idea to be explained whereas a moral is a clear lesson to be learned means one has to understand theme whereas one has to learn the moral from this story and here following is an example of theme versus moral see if theme is a love then moral if the theme of a literary work or a novel or a fiction is love then what could be the moral moral see love others the way you would like to be loved it means if you um, if you would like to be loved yourself by somebody then you should also love others so this is what the moral of the story is whereas the theme is simply an idea and moral is a message or an instruction an indirect suggestion so this is what uh, here uh, i would like to uh, wind up this brief session about uh, the element of the novel theme in the next session we are going to talk the plot of the novel thank you very much